Let's continue with other stories. Expectant women and mothers who seek services at health facilities seem to be shying away from hospitals due to the fear of contracting COVID-19. This has left a big burden on community health volunteers who ensure that women visit health facilities for both antenatal and postnatal care. According to data from the Kenya National Kenya Health Information Pardon Me system, the number has reduced especially for women coming from informal settlements. Sadia Nyangweso is happy to carry her bundle of joy today. On the 14th of April this year, she delivered her third baby at the Pumwani Maternity Hospital. Her delivery journey, though, was not easy. Sadia labored at night, one month after President Uhuru Kenyatta imposed the dusk to dawn curfew in bid to curb the spread of coronavirus. My labor started at around 10 p.m. in the evening. So I had to call a taxi, but unfortunately... The taxi couldn't come. So I had to go and look for the CHVW of the community for her to be able to take me to hospital. Even though she knew that her baby required postnatal care, Saida was scared of an invisible danger, coronavirus. It took a lot of time for me to take the baby for the first injection because I'm also scared. I don't know if my baby is safe or not. I'm not going to hospital. I'm not taking my kid to any clinic because I'm not sure even the person who's Giving out the treatment is also safe to do it because for a kid, it's, I don't know. Saida's fear was compounded when 41 health workers at the hospital contracted the virus. This led to the closure of the biggest maternity hospital in eastern Central Africa for fumigation purposes. Such incidences have complicated the challenges that community health volunteers go through at the community level. Nedifa Salim is a CHV in Majengo. One of our roles is ensuring that expectant women and lactating mothers visit health facilities for both antenatal and postnatal care. At her visit at Saida's, her work for the day is not yet complete as she needs to check on another resident. Sisu fanya follow up. Mbaka mama akiwa na mimba, azai, mbaka akiza sisi tunenda house visit. Na katika hii COVID sai ni risk. Nyumba ile nenda kuvisit labda mtu akona COVID, corona. 25-year-old Maria Mombato is six months pregnant. Already a mother of two, she has visited the Majengo Pumwani Health Facility twice since the pandemic struck four months ago. Her worst fear is the ongoing curfew as there is no means to get her to a health facility in case of an eventuality at night. Nkipata pesa ndo ya kukula na watoto. Nkipata pesa ndo ya kulipa nyonga. Sasa sina ile pesa ya kusema labda nitaweka niweke ya kusema sasa hii niko na wondo uzito nitapata hata kama kumefungwa naweza enda hospitali yoyo yote lakini sasa pesa hakuna hiyo ndio shida hofu kubwa Women living in informal settlements are having a great challenge accessing health facilities during this period According to data from the Kenya Information Health System, the last six months of the year 2019 saw an average of 9,000 women visit health facilities and completing four antenatal care visits compared to this year from the month of January to June, where averagely 7,000 women visited health facilities for the same needs. Nedifa and her fellow CHVs in this community are working hard to ensure that they sensitize the community, especially women who need to visit health facilities for antenatal and postnatal care. Oh, they can give us a phone number. We, are, we, are, we at least we can call, because if you have somewhere you can call for help, it could be easier. Like now, there is nowhere you can call for help. You just have to go risk yourself. You're outside there. You don't know who you're going to meet. The closure of the Pumwani Maternity Hospital, which is 850 meters away from Majengo, has made many women seek other alternatives. On average, approximately 100 women deliver at the facility daily. Dana Rose, K24 Evening Edition.